Deathstroke number 15, Christopher Priest writing and Carlo Pugelain on art. Who read this? Uh, I didn't. This was one of the couple of books I didn't get around to reading this week. I read Deathstroke. Um, and the story starting to come together again, although I say that every time. I yeah. think it's just Priest's way of seeding things. How many times and can so, one story come together, I wonder? Well, no, this well, is what it is. He does this, where he seeds yeah. new things and then yep. brings other things together in the same issue. So it always feels mm-hmm. like there's something coming together, but in every yeah. issue there's something new set up as well. Yeah, so we left off on the last issue that that uh, Eddie Ann and Deathstroke are in a relationship and Deathstroke is blind and he's the worst father ever. And it left him with the new Power Girl, who I still can't remember her name, but I'm just going to keep calling her the new Power Girl while all this is going. And uh, they bring in Dr. Villain, or uh, Will Hane, as they, you know, because he's French, you have to pronounce it that way. And he's, you know, shocked that the new Power Girl is only 16 and a half and is administering all of these medical tests. And she's like, yeah, but you're a doctor. He's like, I'm a geneticist. It's a little bit different. And so they, they come to find out that the reason that Deathstroke's gone blind is he was already having vision problems. And that was his healing factor was keeping it in check. Well, when he was in the nuclear reactor with Raptor uh, and his eyes were not protected, the um, the radiation in the reactor kind of shut off his healing factor. And his eye vision or his eye problems jump started with his physiology so the healing factor wasn't working there wasn't anything really to heal so he went blind so um he ends up working with power girl and she gives him the sunglasses that kind of allows him to see kind of via sonar kind of um so he's kind of like daredevil yeah i was gonna say it sounds like a, a daredevil knockoff and she she ends up having this retired police dog. Then there's a, a bit of tension between Deathstroke and the dog. The dog doesn't trust him. As well, you shouldn't. Nobody should trust Deathstroke. Um, but a tension between but, him and the dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is, and, and it's played for last because the dog's growling at him and he can't see. And so he doesn't know what kind of dog it is. I just am, I can big, imagine him snarling back. Yeah, right. Well, he's like, he tells her, uh, lose basically silence the dog or lose the dog. So he's like, he's willing to, to, you know, just end this dog for growling at him. At the same time, you have uh, Joey dealing with his problems and kind of freaking out that he killed Dr. Icon. Mm -hmm. And so he's trying to put that together. Rose calls him and, you know, they're doing the brother sister thing and talking about the wedding. And she's like, yo, I don't trust your, your wife to be there's something that's off about her and i think she's working for your mom and he's like oh no that could never happen if anything she's working with my dad and so it kind of plays into that that joey's picking up on these things like he's not just a fool but we don't know what her motivations exactly are at this point in time but power girl and deathstroke end up at this this event that they're supposed to go to where she's going to meet a congresswoman turns out there's a hit on her another assassins there deathstroke uh ends up being able to you know kind of neutralize him but the assassins pissed off that deathstroke's there because it's a violation of their like assassins rules like deathstroke wasn't supposed to be in this place in time and he can't swoop in and get the kill but deathstroke's just there to attend and when this this assassin who's known as the most dangerous man uh, shows up and makes this grand entrance. Deathstroke's there as this new hero called Twilight with the dog. And so that's where the, the name of the art comes from. That's where the name of the dog yeah, is. That throughout the whole issue, Power Girl's like, "Yeah, you're a hero. You just don't know it." And he's like, "No, nah, hero villains. That's that's a fake thing." And she's like, "No, I think you're a superhero. So here's your costume." He's like, "It's a uniform." And it's just him grumpy dealing with the sixteen year old. So at the end, we get him and the dog as this hero team taking out this assassin uh, for the next issue. But the real interesting stuff was the Joey and Rose. And Rose is getting ready to join back up and leave her family. Oh, she's Michigan. finally coming home. Yep. And the okay. guy that wants her protection wants to marry her so Slade won't kill him 
for putting the hit out on him or ratting on him wants yeah. to go with. He's just like, no, you have to stay here. So I almost would want just a whole arc of just Rose and seeing what, what she does after mm. this. But but yeah, that's that's where stuff starts to come together. So you start getting the oh you're a hero thing and then at the end he's masquerading as a hero. 